everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Elena Pergamon. In this tutorial, you will explore how to read and understand crochet diagrams or charts. During this tutorial, I will add crochet symbols on the screen for the stitch I'm showing. I will start with the basic, most commonly used stitches symbol that are used worldwide. However, there are some difference in terminology between UK and US stitches. I will also specify the stitches uh, name and refer to UK or US terms. Some designers uh, or companies uh, could use different uh, symbols in the pattern uh, writing, but they will also specify symbols uh, for each stitch and abbreviation uh, for their symbols. Almost every crochet piece will begin uh, with a foundation chain or a ring. Uh, usual symbols for chain oval could be round or could be a dashed line as well. Uh, the standard uh, symbol is oval for the chain stitch. To begin the work, you will have to change the required amount of chain stitches for the project. The next stitch is single crochet US or double crochet UK and the standard symbol uh, looks like a plus or cross. If your next round begins with single crochet US or double crochet UK, the chain symbol will be added to the stitch. Like on the drawing, I have one first red plus symbol with a chain stitch next to it. To begin a new row or round, you will have to chain one and work one single US or one double UK. If you work in the row, insert your hook into second stitch from the hook, but it will be the first stitch of your work. And once again, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull once, yarn over, pull through two loops. Next stitch, pull once and pull through two loops. The next we'll explore half double US or half trouble UK crochet stitch. If you begin the next round or row with this stitch, it usually starts uh, with two chain stitches at the beginning of the round or row and uh, the stitch has to be worked into the next stitch. By working half double US or half treble UK, before inserting your hook into a stitch, yarn over once, insert your hook into a stitch, pull once, now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Once again, yarn over into the next stitch, pull once, yarn over, pull through all three loops, yarn over into the next stitch, pull once and pull through all three loops. The next stitch is double crochet US or treble crochet UK. If uh, your row or round begins with this uh, stitch, then you have to chain three at the beginning uh, of your work. The symbol has a line over the post. This means yarn over the hook at first and pull through two loops two times. The stitch is divided by two. Once again, yarn over into the next stitch, pull once, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And once again, yarn over into the next stitch, pull once, yarn over, pull through two loops and pull through two loops. Next, we will look at treble or triple US or double treble or double triple UK. To start round or row with the stitch, you must uh, first work four chain stitches, which will count as your first stitch. If you look at the symbol, uh, you will see two lines across the post. That means yarn over twice the hook before you insert the hook into the next stitch and the stitch is divided by three and work three times through two loops. Yarn over twice the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull once, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through two loops. Once again, yarn over twice into the next stitch, pull once, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And once again, yarn over twice into the stitch, pull once, pull through two loops, pull through two loops and pull through two loops. Here you can also see how the stitches uh, change in their height. The next symbol has three lines across the post. This stitch uh, called a double uh, treble or double triple US 
or triple treble UK crochet stitch. That means yarn over three times the hook before inserting the hook into the next stitch. And the stitch is divided by four and work four times through two loops. Yarn over three times the hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull once, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and the last two loops. And the last stitch in this tutorial is a slip stitch. Often this stitch helps to join the round, uh, join the pieces together, or transfer the beginning of the next stitch. It can also be used in the pattern diagram as a part of the design. The standard symbol for this uh, stitch is colored oval or round. If you look at this diagram, this should be easy to read. Uh, the first line consists of only the chain stitches, uh, First, you will have to chain the required amount of uh, chain stitches and chain the additional three chains to begin a new row. After that, insert the hook into uh, a fifth stitch from the hook and work one WS or one treble UK. Chain two, skip two and uh, work two stitches, uh, one stitch per stitch. Again, chain two, skip two and work uh, two stitches again and like that to the end of the row. When you come to the end of uh, the row, chain four, turn your work. Now work the pattern from the left to right. Next work two WS or two treble UK around two chain stitches, chain two and work uh, stitches around the next two chain stitches and continue the pattern. To start row number three, you have to follow the stitches from right to left, and row number four is similar to row number two, and you have to read a pattern from left to right. This diagram could appear more complex when the diagram is one color, therefore I've changed the color of each row. It is also easy to follow. With the same principle, you read each row from right to left and from left to right, and so on. To begin this pattern, you will have to chain 32, after that chain 3 additional chain stitches, 3 chain stitches at the beginning of each row will count as 1 treble UK 1 double US, after that the work 1 double US or 1 treble UK into the 5th stitch from your hook, chain 2, skip 1, work 1 single US or 1 double UK, uh, work 1 single US or 1 double UK into the next stitch, chain 2, skip 1 and work uh, 4 treble UK or 4 double US into each stitch, 1 stitch per stitch and continue to the end of uh, the row. To begin a second uh, row, you will have to chain one, turn your work and work uh, one single US or one double uh, UK into the second stitch from the hook, but it will be your first stitch of the stitch. After you work uh, one uh, single US or one double UK into the next stitch, chain five, skip all these chain stitches and crochet stitches and work four single US or four double UK into each stitch, one stitch per stitch and once again chain five, skip all this part and work four stitches and so on. To begin a third row, once again you will have to chain one and uh, work one single US or one double uh, UK into the stitch and this will be your second stitch from the hook and uh, chain two, work four treble UK or four double US around the chain stitches, skip single US or double UK and uh, chain two and work two stitches, skip again this stitch, chain two and work uh, four stitches uh, around chain stitches and continue. And when you're up to the end of the row three, you will, after working uh, four treble UK or four double US around chain stitches, uh, you chain two, skip one and work uh, one double UK or one single US into the last stitch of your work. Another row, you chain four, three chain stitches, uh, count as uh, one uh, uh, double US or one treble UK and one stitch, chain stitch, if you look the reflection, chain stitch here as well. And after that you again work one stitch per stitch and continue working on the pattern. 
When you come to the end of uh, row number five, uh, you work a one WSO, one treble UK around the chain stitch, and your last uh, treble UK or WS uh, will have to uh, be worked into the third chain stitch. I usually count from the bottom up and complete the stitch into the stitch. This episode has uh, come to an end. Thank you for watching. I hope you've had great experience. For those who are new, if you'd like to see more videos in the future, please subscribe to be notified when I add a new video. Have a good day or evening and I will see you soon.